Hey, what's up, y'all? So I'm going to be taking out my crochet braids. Um, like I said in my other video, I'm going to be getting my hair done in a couple of days. So I just want to shampoo my hair and, you know, let it breathe for a little bit. Maybe put some two-strand twist in there um, just to still keep it protected. And then I'm going to get my hair cornrowed, this time by my professional hairstylist. Um, and then I'm just going to put in new hair. All right, so I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to be taking out the crochet braids. Now, I did a few knots in here. I did like two or three knots for each um, strand of hair that I use. So I won't be able to untie it. I know some people untie the hair and then just take it out, which is easier. Um, but because I did two or three knots, I'm definitely going to have to just cut it. So what you're going to be doing is just cutting right above the knots. You cut it and then you're going to just take the rest of the hair out from around your cornrow and just do each, you know, set of hair and that's it. And then you're done. So I'm going to show you guys how I do the first two or three and then get started. Alright, so I'm halfway done. Um, it only took about maybe like, let me see, like eight, ten minutes to get out half of the hair. And as you can see, my hair is grown. So that's good. So I'm just gonna get this side done and taken care of. Alright, so I have mostly all the hair done. I see a few pieces here and there that I need to get out like that. Um, and then I'm going to take out the cornrows and wash my hair. So it really took about no more than 25 minutes, honestly, to get all of this out. Um, so it's pretty easy. And I think next time I'm just going to, I'm just going to tie it like once or twice so that I could just easily take it out. I think some of them were a little harder to take out that had like three knots on them. I might have even done four for some. Um, so, yeah, mostly taken out. I'm gonna take this out, wash my hair, and that's it, and get ready for my two strands. All right, so I combed out my hair. Um, there were a few knots here and there in there, so I just combed that out. Um, make sure you comb out your hair before you go in the shower and wash it. So now I'm just going to wash it and I'm going to style it. So I put some Shea Moisture Coconut Hibiscus Curl in Style Milk just to kind of moisturize my hair. Um, I washed it and I conditioned it in the shower. So now I'm just going to, um, now that I put the, um, the Curl in Style Milk, I'm going to add just a little bit of Eco Styler just to the front part where my headband is going to be. Um, my headband is an old stocking that I love to use because it grips really well. I'm just going to wrap it around. So I'll just put the Eco Styler just a little bit on the edges and kind of put it in smoothly with my hands. You can use a brush too um, if you need to. 
kind of gives it like a wavy pattern, at least for me. Comb the back too. You, you could put gel in the back if you want. Um, it's up to you. And then you just take your stocking. I tie it once and just kind of situate it where I want it to be. If you want like a low afro or if you want more like a afro pony. And then just to hold the band in place, sometimes um, my hair could be a little bit slippery, so what I'll do is just take a bobby pin. Can't really see it, but a bobby pin. Two, and put it right at the corner underneath the band to hold in place. Because you don't want it to slip up, and that's it. This is going to be my do for the day, and then I'll probably later on in the nighttime when I come back, I'm probably going to just do some, um, you know, two strands twist or something like that till I get my hair braided for my new crochet braid set. All right? All right, everybody have a good day. Peace.